Hey guys and welcome to the 8th Annual Sloth Thurman Games. Again, my name is Andrea. I've been the referee for three years now and I'm more than excited about this year's games. Remember, for the ones that do follow our games, uh, this is a game that and a fundraiser that we use to kind of like help the Saving Sloth Together program. So our aim is to help many more baby sloths, not only these sloth leads that are competing this year, but the many more to come. And so hopefully you guys can help us out reaching our $8,000 goal or maybe even more. Um, so these years are going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have lots of surprises. We're back at the headquarters, as you may see. So for the ones that are new to these games and for the ones that have been following us on the previous years, just a reminder that these games are basically an enrichment form for all of the slots. And so we're basically filming them doing whatever they do best, climbing, going to the bathroom and eating hibiscus flowers as a treat and part of their diet. And so this is all, you know, if they don't want to participate, they're going to be DQ'd. You guys are going to get to see some very fun surprises this year. And so I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Remember, if you want to support one or all of these sloth leads, you can donate towards them. Uh, one dollar means one vote. And so the one that gets more dollars or more votes is the one that will win. And so thank you so much for, you know, um, being with us this year again and hope you have as much fun as we all did. Welcome back everybody to the 8th Annual Sloth Ironman Games. My name is Isaac and I'll be joining you through this entire event as a reporter. So here in the field, I'm with Stephanie and Amy. They both have been following closely Coco's training uh, for this entire event. So uh, tell us, Steph, during the one meter dash, how do you think that Coco will do? Oh, I'm sure that Coco's is gonna kill it. She's the fastest sloth out there. The sassiest, she's the best. That's awesome. And what about you, Amy, what do you think? gonna be amazing she's incredible this last all right great and well i gotta ask like what's going on in here uh what why coco like why do you think uh, she might be a good uh, candidate to win the competition well uh for those slot fans out there i don't think that coco actually needs much introduction she is one of or the most popular slot that we've ever had since she was a baby, I don't know how many followers she got from this video in Instagram, but she didn't let that get into her head. I mean, she has Bob Marley's spirit in her. I don't know if you heard that song. Go, 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 I mean, she's, she's a true empress. I, like, I'm, I swear she's... There is no other sloth that can win this. For sure, yeah, she's one of the strongest <laughs> sloth leads. And yeah, I know that the competition is tough, but hopefully she'll do great. And well, now we're back at the release. Woo! Go Noodle! I believe in you. Noodle is the cutest sloth I've seen and seen plenty. So I'm pretty sure Noodle is gonna win the cutest. Oh wait, there's no competition for that, but no, it doesn't matter. Go Noodle! Woo! Hello, one and all, it's me, Serena. I tied for third place in the 2022 Sloth Ironman Games, but at least I didn't lose. I'm just here to remind you that every behavior you see in the Sloth Ironman Games is perfectly natural and part of enrichment and training for each sloth's eventual release back into the wild. Not to mention that all events are organized with Toucan Rescue Runs, animal care team and supervised by a veterinarian. After the Sloth Ironman Games, I pursued my true passion, acting. I am trying to make it to the big screen, but in the meantime, my talents are being featured in several theater productions, a Cannes green bean commercial, and I was even amused for the winning artwork in the 2023 Calls to Artists campaign. What can I say? The camera loves me, wouldn't you agree? Okay, now that the fans are ready, we're going to check with Andrea how they're doing in the field. 
Thank you, Isaac, for that interesting interview. Fans are so excited. And now, here we can see the preparation of the one meter dash. Oh yeah, no, look at that event. This is amazing. Like all the effort that they're putting on this year, you know, building this whole entire structure for just this one event. That's pretty, pretty awesome. And the field is ready. The clear up has been given. The sloth team is ready and the competition is going to start soon. So in lane four, we have Noodle and then- Lane three packs. And then we have the other two as well. Here they come. Here comes the competition. Oh, wow. Production went all out this year with those lanes. Ready, Never set, have there been such an investment. Oh, it's beginning. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look wow, at this is go. a fast start. I don't think I've ever seen oh such God, a fast Coco. start in this. Coco is going for the gold. You can see that she's just going for that hibiscus flower. Oh, my yeah. God. She, I think she, she wants it. She this is no surprise. It. We've known about Coco's speed is. Oh, but look! Look at a. Hey, she's she's oh. sticking. Oh. She's saying, "Oh my God, it's happening! Something's happening!" Oh, here comes Liana. Oh, Liana here wants Liana. to get oh. the gold too. Oh, Coco wins. Coco wins. I've been hearing that Coco had been shooting for a world record. We have Pax and Liana. Oh, let's see who's going to be the third. The rumors about part. them, you know. Pax is not well known for his speed. Let's see how he does. Pax wins! And then we'll see what, what happened to. Oh, oh Liana! There he goes. But wait, wait. What's That's going on? That's three going on, and there's one oh, song missing. Oh, Noodle. Uh, Making honor to... to his reputation, taking his time. Will he get disqualified? We're trying to get him to go the other way, oh. but no, he wants, he wants, he wants to eat. Seems he's going for that grass, making honor to his name, disqualified! Bye, Noodle. Oh, Noodle. I'm sure you can do much better in, later in the competition. Well, you know, I think he wants to give the rest a head start, because he knows how good he is. And here's the scoreboard. Coco. Help your favorite sloth late and donate, 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 donate! Help us out and help sloth conservation. Remember guys, every vote is one dollar and thanks to your donations we're going to make sure these slots go back into the wild. And keep up with the next events in this, this next following day, the Hibiscus Eat Up, the Halftime Show, the Strong Soft Competition, and of course the most beloved, Poop Off. Oh, how exciting, I can't wait to see Noodle's Poop Off. <laughs> and then of course we have the live award ceremony where we'll um, see the sloth blades and we'll see how they're doing. Oh, so I can't today. wait for that outcome.